Imagine being at the movies, at a festival, or even at school, and suddenly you hear gunshots everywhere. One situation that I hope I never encounter in my entire life is being present while there is a gunman going on a killing spree. I can't even imagine the fear that would sink to the pit of my stomach if I knew that any time now, someone would come through those doors with the sole purpose of killing everyone inside. Here are the top five deadliest mass shootings in America. San Isidro McDonald's Massacre James Huberty, a 41-year-old San Isidro, California father, told his wife that he thought he may have a mental problem. Two days later, he scheduled an appointment with a mental health clinic for the same day, but unfortunately, they did not call him. A day afterwards, he mentions to his wife, and I quote, well, society had their chance, and continues to say that his life was over. Later that day, July 18, 1984, James Huberty armed himself with three different weaponries, a long-barreled Uzi, a pump-action shotgun, and a handgun. He then went to his local McDonald's and shoots. He killed 21 people and injured an additional 19 others before being fatally shot by the SWAT team. Luby's Massacre on the 16th of October in the year of 1991, Killeen, Texas resident, 35-year-old George Hennard, crashed his truck into the front window of the restaurant called Luby's Cafeteria. Immediately after entering, he opened fire using a 9mm Glock 17 pistol on one hand and a 9mm Ruger P89 pistol on the other. He killed 23 people while wounding an additional 27 others. According to witnesses, before he started shooting, he yelled out, and I quote, All women of Kayleen and Belton are vipers. This is what you've done to me and my family. This is what Bell County did to me. This is payback day. After shooting, he turned the gun on himself and committed suicide. Sandy Hook Shooting on the 14th of December 2012, just before Christmas break, a gunman went to an elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut to commit the unthinkable. The gunman was 20-year-old Adam Lanza, and that day he murdered 20 students between the ages of 6 and 7 years old, as well as 6 adult staff of the Sandy Hook Elementary School. Before the police had the chance to respond, Adam Lanza, the coward that he is, reportedly turned the gun on himself and committed suicide. The police later found Adam's mother, Nancy Lanza, dead in her home as well from a gunshot, adding to the unfortunate long list of victims. Virginia Tech Massacre In the year 2007, April 16 to be exact, the gunman entered Virginia Polytechnic Institute and opened fire. The gunman was fellow student, 23-year-old Seong Hyu Cho. He went on a shooting spree that killed 32 people and left several innocent bystanders injured in two separate locations of the college. After his attacks, he committed suicide. Reports collected by authorities suggested that the killings were due to a romantic disagreement between Cho and a victim named Emily Hersher, but according to her family, there was no relationship before the murders. In his 1800-word manifesto that he sent to NBC News, Cho compared himself to Jesus Christ and expressed hatred to the wealthy. Orlando Nightclub Shooting 49 killed and 53 people injured. On the 12th of June in 2016, 29-year-old Omar Siddiqui Mateen opened fire in a gay nightclub called Pulse in Orlando, Florida. He killed 49 people and injured over 53 people. During the attack, he apparently swore his allegiance to ISIS and started posting weird statuses on his social media accounts. Many thought that his wife was also an accomplice after a source reported that they were texting the night of the shooting. He he apparently sent his wife text messages asking if she saw what had happened and that he loved her. The heroic responding officers was able to kill Omar Mateen during an operation to free the remaining hostages inside. Well, there you have the top five most deadliest mass shooting in America. Of course, this list can always change if a lunatic goes on another rampage. But the best we can do is pray and knock on some wood that there won't be another. As usual, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content.